Hi, welcome back. One of the major data risks is privacy, and increasingly organizations are becoming aware of this. Joining us today is Mio Yamashita, and Mio leads our national privacy group here at Deloitte. Mio brings a wealth of experience around privacy and compliance services. With the proliferation of technology, there appear to be many more risks around the privacy of our information. How would you define privacy services? You're right, Janet. There are a lot more risks around privacy, and it really feels today like our privacy is under siege with the growing proliferation of technologies that are out there. I define our privacy services as what we do to help organizations understand the risks and responsibilities around managing personally identifiable data. And personally identifiable data could be data about a customer, it could be data about an employee, and in some cases it's also data about a third party. So that's really interesting. There are various types of personally identifiable data across a variety of sources. Do you see privacy as primarily a legal risk? That's a really interesting question, and it's one that we're asked a lot, and the answer is, is it is definitely a legal risk. Most of the organizations we serve are governed by privacy laws, but increasingly we're seeing it as a growth risk. So as organizations really outline their business plans and objectives and put together their metrics for hitting certain targets, what they're starting to find in some cases is that privacy is potentially a rate-limiting step. As an example, we know some organizations want to engage, for example, in more targeted marketing to their customers. And in a lot of cases, their customers are actually telling them through customer feedback surveys that they want to be marketed to in very specific and meaningful ways. But we see privacy officers at organizations not being entirely sure what the rules of the road are, what technologies they can use, what information they can push out, what lifestyle data they could incorporate. And so we never want privacy to be a barrier to growth. So we try to look at it from a risk management and legal perspective, but from a data perspective, we really try to help organizations understand that there's value in that data and that you can manage the privacy risks appropriately. Many of our clients are seeking to gain insights from their data through the use of data analytics. Critics to the use of data analytics often throw up privacy as a barrier. Oh, that's too bad they're throwing out privacy as a barrier. It doesn't have to be. Privacy, when managed appropriately, can really help organizations gain those insights from their data. Organizations need to develop the right privacy risk management framework. And what we're really seeing when organizations do that is they actually are able to use their data in more ways than they ever thought possible. One of the biggest tips that we see organizations now trying to follow is that their businesses have changed dramatically over the past 10 years, but in many cases their privacy policies and their privacy management processes have not. So one of the things we talk to organizations about is your business has changed in the past decade, but if your privacy policy was constructed around 2001 or 2002 when PIPEDA, our federal privacy legislation, really started kicking in, chances are your privacy infrastructure is a little out of date, and if you were to just revisit that, that, you could probably do a lot of the exciting things with data that you want to do. As a consultant, I work with clients every day and understand that they want to use their data in new and innovative ways to gain insights. And yet, as a consumer, I often feel less inclined to give it. Do you see in your work that having a, a well-constructed privacy framework serves as a differentiator in the market? I think with the right privacy risk management framework, privacy can become a differentiator for organizations. The Information Commissioner's Office in the UK actually commissioned a study last year to look at compliance with the British National Data Protection Act. And in looking at that act, they asked the key question, what really helps organizations comply with privacy laws and what's their actual incentive to comply? And what they found with businesses in particular that complied with the law, those businesses actually reported higher scores on customer loyalty, higher scores on customer satisfaction and then interestingly from a data perspective better accuracy rates on data, better quality rates on data, and just in general, more efficient information systems. So if you look at privacy as part of a larger suite of data issues that need to be managed, I think there's huge upside and you can really have that potential to differentiate yourself in the market. 
Well, that's really reassuring as a consumer, and I think that it's important to organizations to hear that this really can serve as a differentiator for them in the market. So thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. At Deloitte, we help our clients manage their risks and responsibilities around the handling of personal information. Thank you for joining us. See you next month.